Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to MLB The Show. Yeah, we crushed them last game. They beat us, though, in the first game of the series. Series is currently tied. Jose Quintana. Gets the start for San Francisco. We're still only two games up on the Diamondbacks, though, because the Diamondbacks have, like, won four straight. They're pain in the butt right now in that they have been on our ass. He gave up two runs, and he still stuck around long enough to get the W. He's going to keep him in the game. I look for that type of performance in this game as well. Here's Johnny Peralta. Wow, Peralta's had a rough last ten games, hitting only 194. Several games. Not very what pretty. the hell are we? What happened to my uniform? <laughs> Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. There's a swing. And uh, sends a well, Peralta, I guess, is on his way to fixing his average. Up, he trains. How you guys doing? Can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. So a solo shot here for Johnny Peralta. Number 17 for him on the season. It goes without saying. That's not how we wanted to start the game. Damn you, Peralta! Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. Is that what models say, too? I have to make sure I stay hot when it matters. On the catchwalk. On the catchwalk. Standing in, Tug Dick. First well, cuts for him there. here with the bases uh, open and two Dick. away. Tug Dick is also, though they didn't show it there, I believe only two stolen bases away from Ricky Anderson's pitch. record. We're down by a run. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. That one is That is gone! Here. This game is tied. I didn't know if it would get over the wall. <laughs> yes! Tied ball game! Each side has a home run now. Doing it the hard way over the wall in right field. And the Giants have come back to tie things here at 1-1. Don't touch me, Moss. <laughs> well, his offense spotted him a run in the top of the inning, and he just gave it right back. That's what happens when you plant one in a hitter's wheelhouse. It looked like it hit the top of the wall and just kind of rolled out. Maybe I'm wrong. Not bad. At the plate, Frank Geddes. He'll go to work game. trying to do something about Not breaking either. this 1-1 one, one tie. Now, how about you don't break the tie? Top of the second tied ball game. Feels good hitting a home run like that. It's a little electric. Zap out. Oh, hey, train dudes. Dick moves over and I'm trained on catching the ball. First out of the inning. Let's take a look at the Giants' defense brought to you by Majestic. And that shortstop, Brandon Crawford, I call him the Magic Man. He can pick. Have you ever seen him catch a ball through his legs? You may call him the Magic Man, but we call him Wolverine. To a complete player, particularly a gold glove defense doesn't hurt. Yeah, Crawford's a good uh, shortstop. Doug McClellan. He's a big man. Top of the second. Like I said, runner on second. Still a tied ball game. It's pretty early in the game yet, though. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Dick is there. No, the not the most beautiful catch ever, side. but he caught it. One left for the Cardinals. We'll go to the bottom of the second, tied at one. I've been worried there for a second if he hadn't caught it. to pick things oh, up where we left Dragon. off. Tug Dick. And he's the reigning Tug. recipient of the National League's Player of the Month award. Runners on the corners. One out. From the belt, the pitch. A oh, shit. And now they'll tag him out between first and second. It's a double play. It is the worst kind of double play. First baseman caught it, then touched the base. Oh. <laughs> Still tied. One and one. Sometimes you just have dumb luck like that. Bad Driving dumb luck. I guess it's again. not luck then. It's a curse. He's tied ball game. Top of the fifth. Runner on first. Oh 
one. Here's the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Dick is there. And that's the second out of the inning. And Whee! he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice. Now I'm going to go play baseball for real. I'm so out of shape, though. I'd probably fall down a lot. Oh, I can't breathe. I pulled everything in my mind. All my muscles. Oh, yes. We are up 4 1. Hell yeah. Into the windup and the pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. And Peralta won't get there. Oh, we got a chance to get some stolen bases now. Ricky Henderson's record is in reach. Threw well and got a win his last start. Total opposite right here. He hasn't thrown the ball very well. They've been hitting him pretty good. And at the moment, he stands to be the guy that's going to get the loss. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and a right-hander have stood up. And the runner back safely. Uh, Brandon Moss at the plate. So there's no reason not to steal. Stop throwing the first. I'm trying to steal your bases. They belong to the dick. First baseman Brandon Moss. A pitch out. The throw. Safe. And they still don't get it. Thank God. <laughs> second with a stolen base. Well, they guessed right on the pitch out there, and I thought they might have cut him down, but the throw from behind the plate was just a little off target. Yeah, it was not a great throw at all. Could have been the difference there. All right, I believe. I could be wrong. I think we're one away from tying. Three runs already home here. We're going for it. Way to third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he won't get the throw off, actually, as he can't find the handle. That's it. I believe we are tied with Ricky Henderson for stolen bases in a single season. One and one, here it is. Somebody is might actually make it to the Hall of Fame. High in the air into left field. Get us. Way to fuck up again, Moss. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. No run, but we've tied no Ricky Henderson. Hell yes. No errors. One more, and we will have the lead alone. Tied for... That's so cool. Especially considering last year was kind of a disappointing year. He had his sophomore slump. Digging in and looking for more. Right now he's hitting over 400. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. We're up by three runs. Way off balance hack that big old whiff. for the first strike. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. You should have never happened. That's a mature response. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And there to take it in is Granderson. Oh, I'm disappointed he caught that. Thing. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Striding in. Frank the left fielder Geddes. number 25. Over two with a walk Frank. for him so far. How about you get us that damn ball over here so we can get in out? Top of the ninth. This game's been going by quickly. Two more outs so and we win this thing. Pitch. Get in the air out to left. Dick has a beat on it. He holds nice. it without any trouble. And there are two away. And we win! Hell yes! Worst case scenario, we tied the series with him. We win this one. Next one, we win the series. As that's win number 82 for them on the year, so they're assured of finishing the season with the winning record. Five two, the final score. That is awesome. I would hope we have a winning record at this point, considering we're what, like 20, 30 games over 500. It would be embarrassing. I mean, mathematically, now we will have one. It'd be embarrassing if we lost every game from here on out. Matt Vasgersian, thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. What a good game! We get the win. Let's play the last game in the series. Tug Dick in the middle of a five-game hitting streak. Sunday afternoon baseball and on the now, show as we welcome you inside AT&T Park in San Francisco. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the San Francisco Giants. Sunday it's fun day. Giants baseball next. I am so glad that Tug Dick won his War of Wills with Bochy. It would suck if we would have had a pinch it all year. What do we need to know here, HR? It makes me really wonder, too, what kind of numbers Dick would have had if he didn't end up pinch hitting for about a month. over four, just giving up too many runs. And when you give up that many runs, you're not going to win games. Come on, 
Oh, wait! I was wrong! We were ahead of Ricky Anderson! My math was wrong! Tug Dick has the record for stolen bases. He got it last game. Sorry, Ricky Henderson. Move over for the dick. Runners in first to second. We're down by a run. Bottom of the first. From the stretch. Oh, got under it too much. Trying to launch it. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. And with that, a look at Bruce Bochy's lineup card for the Giants. HR, how do they send their fan base home happy here today? Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game. Definitely get back into the game. Oh, not only that, but we got the lead now. Runners at the corners. Bottom of the second. We have a 2-1 lead. And of course, here in inning number two. Now My bat died. Oh, uh, that is bullshit. <laughs> you hear the thing just explode? And the ball just kind of, you know, weakly fell back in the catcher's mitt. That blows. I'm flying. I'm Superman. That is really cool because we've been playing this all season. And that is the first time I think we've seen that angle of the Golden Gate in this game. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit in the air out to straight. Run, Dick, run! Dick is after it, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record. Doug Dick, two pop tarts. I mean pop outs. I want a pop tart. A runner on second. We're up three to one. I think that's Hunter Pence out there, but I'm not sure. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Go to third. Go to third. Yes. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the And it is Hunter Pence. I was right. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there and now he's only 90 feet away. Three runs, nine hits, and one error in the ball game. For only one out. It'd be awesome if we could get Pence home. Add to that lead. Swing and trying to get under it and hitting it deep. Field. Stemley, it's back. fucking ballpark. Can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And Stand up triple. With an RBI triple. Oh man, I wish we would have gone home. It wasn't worth the risk yeah, though. A tricky right field to get a feel for. Getting that RBI, bringing that run home. The, brick, the fence. It has a little bit of everything as the ball caroms off the wall. He does well to get it back in as quickly as he did, but it's not in time to prevent the triple. It's certainly an interesting ballpark with the architecture here. St. Louis manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. Oh, he shaked his head. And he said, "You suck balls, balls son." That'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll beat an early retreat here this afternoon as he could never really get into the flow of the ball game. Your Lance Lynn play. answers the call now from the pen here Saint in the Lewis. fourth as they didn't Number get the outing one. they were hoping Man, our team rocked him. Today. Wasn't it last game when he came in? Or was it two games ago? Uh oh, some rockabilly band broke in here. Damn it, I hate when that happens. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Moss, as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. He's 1 for 2 in this one. Only one out. Uh, I want to say something positive to encourage Moss, but we all know he's probably going to strike out. Now the 0 1. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it one, missed one. the ball one. What good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. Lifted the other Oh my god, did Moss do something right? On the move. Nice and hit. Brings in a run with at least a double. And He's going for three. Idiot. <laughs> what a moron. 
Or as Bugs Bunny said, what a maroon! He had an easy stand-up double. Idiot thought he was gonna be Tug Dick. I'm gonna be the new Tug Dick! Sorry, son. Ain't that fast. Oh well, at least we get the run in. Moss. We're up six to one. You see under Pence for his Pence is hitting a lot better of late. He started off great this year, then started to slump. Now he's back. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. Runners on first with one down. Chop fouled over towards the... Oh, that was the ugly hack. Is that what you say about a bad comedian? Ah. Whiff. Swings on top Quickly down, one, two. Foul right at home plate. Back to back change ups and fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. I got to be thinking some other yep, pitch is coming. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Might have jammed him a little there. As this mm, is give me some peanut butter. Off to the left. Two two count. Got to protect the plate since we got two strikes. Ready with another two two. High in the air and drifting out. To uh, that's center. not gonna Still go near far enough. Chase. What? Oh my God! He didn't down. catch it. The but there's a force of it second because Hunter out. Pence didn't have faith oh, in man. us. I don't know how that happened. Look to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the plate. To be honest, that just can't happen. Well, Hunter Pence thought they were going to catch it. I don't really blame him in that situation. And the force out. Cardinals we got a chance to build our lead. Steel leader all time in baseball is Tug Dick at 131. Every stolen base for the rest and of the season the first will be adding to that record. And get dirty, Every stolen base of record. That last play was weird, though. It's and not something you see a lot. Throw to the bag, and he'll dive back in safely. To the box. We're going for it. Pitch misses low. Wee. One thirty-two. Let's set a record nobody's ever going to touch. Satisfied with the lead they're working with right now, and. I like that. You don't want to disrespect your opponent and do that in a blowout game, but I don't think you can get comfortable with a five. If he can lead. keep this up, got he's got a chance to have a Hall of Fame career. Remember, his rookie year, he was uh, rookie of the year for the National League. This year, we're going for it. I don't know if we're going to make it. Yes, it was a bad throw. This year, setting the stolen base record. me off guard there. That wasn't exactly the typical Man, I remember what Ricky Henderson did in real life. That guy was so fun second. to watch. I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time, now he can score a lot of different ways. Score with your mama, pitcher. A lot of different the ways. I hear she's a slut bags. A change up over the outside corner. Diane mixed slut bags. Right there. If you're willing to throw a change up on 2-0, there's probably a reason I'm single with classy really talk like that. <laughs> 2-1 count. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. I'm seeing him aim the ball right now. That's a trap you fall into as a pitcher when you're not as confident in your stuff as you should be. You've got to trust your stuff. 3-1. You hear that? Trust your stuff. Ball to strike and it's full count. And two. two outs here with a runner at third. Come on, Moss. You actually didn't shit the bed last time. How about doing that again? No, nope. typical Moss strikeout. I say he didn't shit the bed, but he kind of did last time. He got the RBI, but then he got thrown out going to the third push in it. Either way, we got a five-run lead after six. Ready for another shot now. Tug Dick. Tug Dick. We've got an eight-run lead, bottom of the eighth. Runner on first. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line drive the left. Uh, for a moment there, I thought we hit it right to the guy. Nice, another hit. 
Well, I tell you, Matt, right there, man, that, that was an interesting play because the defense is playing so deep and playing no doubles. I just feel like if they were in at a normal depth, they would have caught that ball. I think he's probably right about that. Now we'll see some action in the bullpen at the left. Is that your music, Moss? Where you're like, I need what's music? And now, Brandon Moss. I've been watching Touched by an Angel. I need some Touched by an Angel music. It's All right, if that's what you like, man. For him so far in the ball game. Hey, what's Adams? Pence what's up, Adams? How's your family doing? <laughs> and a strike to even the count. He's probably heard that one. all the time. I bet he especially hears it on Wednesday. Oh, suck it, Adams. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And Good I job, Moss. Yes, the Good job. The fly rule. Don't you fucking clap for yourself. Buster Posey coming to the plate? How is he not hitting in the number four spot? 335. I mean, I get because Posey doesn't have that power. Then put belts in that spot or pence. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. And the when truth is, I know that hitter, traditionally your number four hitter so will be your power hitter, hitter, but there's nothing wrong with putting else. a contact now hitter in there if you got a team that's Runners built like ours. And second with one away. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke. Grip it and rip it. One one counts. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up... Now I want some ball. pop. Don't look so excited, Adams. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. First and second now, one man out. A fastball here, and this is no, I, oh. foul I thought it was gonna be fair. Left. If we play these guys in the playoffs, I hope it goes this well because we, other than the first game, we have handled Another these guys very well. Delivery. Our team has Dropped picked the right time play. to get hot, hot, hot. Safe, funky camera field work, field but single. safe. Well, he's really struggling, and right there you get an infield hit. Nothing more frustrating. It just kind of epitomizes what's been going on with him today. Not a lot of balls hit hard, but they're getting hit. Nice job by Posey. In now, Alvin Eaton, the batter number two. Bases loaded. Alvin. Only one out, bottom of the eighth. We're crushing St. Louis. And they'll start him with a fastball that's low. For and they're a good one. team. Right side, hit home. Nice! We're going home! We're going to try his arm! Safe! Thank God Dick is fast. Nice hit. Good job, Eaton. And we win again! We won three out of the four in this series. That is the way to do it with your guitar and your MTV. Outfield loving. 15 to 1 is the final. San Francisco with a 23 hit attack in route to the win. Ross Detweiler. 23 hits for a team. Damn. Michael Walker couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vasker. 15 to 1. Of MLB the show. Well, to the best teams know MLB how to get hot, you know, at the end of the season. And our team has been putting up a lot of big scores of late. The winning pitcher is Ross Detweiler. Detweiler with the win. I mean, over the last 10 games, I bet you we've had three or four where we've scored double digits. Tug Dick three for five, but even with the fielder's choice, he got on and stole some bases. This episode, we broke Henderson's record. In fact, we might look at that in a second. Um, I believe that is in awards here? 
no. Statistics? MLB records. There you go. Third down. Stolen bases in a season. Tug Dick, 2017, with 133. And we got time to put more down, you know, to do more. Now let's take a uh, look at the record. This is where we'll end the episode. We are two games up on the Diamondbacks. Motherfucking Diamondbacks. Look at the streak over on the right. They have won six straight. These a-holes are staying on our a-hole. No matter how many we win, they're keeping it close. I want to be running away with the division, but they're making it difficult. In the National League Central, the cards are half a game up on the Reds. The Braves are four games up on the Nationals in the East. What's the wild card? Diamondbacks have to be number one for wild card right now. Yep, Diamondbacks and Reds. In the American League, Rays are five and a half games up on the Red Sox in the East. In the Central, the White Sox are four and a half games up on the Tigers. Come on, Tigers! I gotta root for the Fantasy Tigers, because real Tigers did not have a good year. In the American League West, the Rangers are half a game up on the Mariners. Well, not bad at all. Tug Dick having a killer season, breaking records. Our team's doing great, number one in the National League. Those stupid Diamondbacks still close on our tail. I'll see you all next time when we go play the Rockies. Take it easy, everyone.